Sri Sanjay Seth. Narendra Modi had sworn in in 2014 and 2019. Uh, this is a cabinet that Narendra Modi is having to make accommodations in. But what is interesting is that the JDU and the TDP seem not to have bargained very hard for cabinet positions. Instead, what they seem to be gunning for are special packages and special state status for their states. To what extent will that be given? And what accommodations will be made on that front remains to be seen. Remember, Narendra Modi has, of course, been trying to run a very parsimonious government that is very, very aware of its budget deficits. And therefore, it remains to be seen as to what sort of special allocations will be made for the state of Bihar, which is ruled at this moment by Nitish Kumar and Andhra Pradesh, which is governed at this moment by Chandra Babu Naidu, who of course wants to build a capital city that rivals something like Singapore. So the city of Amravati is under construction. It remains to be seen as to how much of the funds will of course flow from the centre to the city of Amravati, a whole new city that is being constructed to be the capital of Andhra Pradesh after Andhra Pradesh of course lost out on Hyderabad to Telangana. So we have Sanjay Seth, uh, who, of course, has taken oath to be a part of the Council of Ministers. This is a big moment. What we are looking at is change that is happening, which is very subtle, but it's changed nonetheless in terms of how the new government will function. Oh. As by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, that I will faithfully and discharge my duties as a minister of conscientiously discharge my duties as a minister of state for the union, and that I will do right to all manner of people in accordance with the constitution and the law without fear or favor, affection or ill will. I, I, Ravneet Singh do swear in the name of God that I will not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person or persons any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall become known to me as a Minister of State for the Union expect as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as such Minister of State. All right, so that is a Ravneet Singh Bittu who's now been sworn in, the 48-year-old who's been sworn in as a council member of the Council of Ministers. He's, of course, won his seat from Ludhiana. And, and this is uh, being touted as the, uh, an important seat which, which the Bharatiya Janata Party, of course, wants to put forth as their Punjab face as a part of its own uh, Council of Ministers. This is the big balancing act which the government is, of course, playing here to try to get everyone involved. I am the first minister of the government 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 और शुद्ध अंतःकरण से निर्वाहन करूंगा तथा मैं भय या पक्षपात अनुराग या द्वेष के बिना सभी प्रकार के लोगों के प्रति संविधान और विधि के अनुसार न्याय करूंगा मैं मैं दुर्गादास उई के ईश्वर की शपथ लेता हूं कि जो विषय संघ के राज्य मंत्री के रूप में मेरे विचार के लिए लाया जाएगा अथवा मुझे ज्ञात होगा उसे किसी व्यक्ति या व्यक्तियों को 
तब के सिवाय जबकि ऐसे राज्य मंत्री के रूप में अपने कर्तव्यों के सम्यक निर्वहन के लिए ऐसा करना अपेक्षित हो मैं प्रत्यक्ष अथवा अप्रत्यक्ष रूप से संसूचित या प्रकट नहीं करूंगा All right so this this of course is a ceremony that is continuing well after it's after two long hours remember it started at 7:15 p.m. it's almost 9:26 p.m. indian standard time 72 council of ministers have of course got to be sworn in in this gargantuan narendra modi cabinet and my colleague siddharth mp is joining us with more details on what is happening in the cabinet siddharth give us a sense of how um, you know the states of tamil nadu and karnataka are of course are responding looking at uh, the two ministers who've been sworn in as council of ministers um, what bjp wants of course to do is to expand in the south for which it has brought in suresh gopi from thrissur and also loknathan murgan from tamil nadu as members in its council of ministers I Kale let me start off by telling you that it's a very strong political statement by the BJP that they have sort of given Suresh Gopi an MOS berth because uh, this is a statement because this is the first time that an MP in the political history of Kerala is winning from the BJP so giving Suresh Gopi that recognition on the national stage is like showing Kerala that you know we're there for you because this is a place that the BJP has literally struggled to make inroads it was a party that was being taunted saying you are not able to open your account here both the congress and the communist party there were taunting the bjp but this time around they've been able to prove their opponents wrong and suresh gopi stormed to power from thrissur with a very surprising margin of close to 75000 votes so this is what is being rewarded at this point in time suresh gopi has spent about 8 years with the bjp so earlier as well in 2019 he contested the lok sabha poll from thrissur there he came third at that time but he was undeterred he contested yet again and this is the victory that is actually being rewarded by the bjp high command because kerala is clearly on the radar the party sees green shoots over there it was in trivandrum also that shashi tharoor won by a very small margin against rajiv chandrashekar uh, tharoor of course a veteran and uh, three time mp from there the now is one for the fourth time so bjp clearly understands that with rajiv chandrashekar also having come second there this is a place where they clearly have you know potential immense potential for growth at least in multiple constituencies two or three of them so because of that they believe that elevating suresh gopi would be the right way to go and then if right. suresh gopi can play his cards right it can also help the bjp in the longer Absolutely. run same thing with murugan in tamil nadu he's always been an mos even earlier he lost the polls in tamil nadu but elevated to mos he comes from All a right. marginalized community right. so this also stands in line with the sabka sabka vikas you know slogan of prime minister absolutely indeed siddharth mp thank you very much indeed for joining us and getting us all those updates this this is a big cabinet this is not a small cabinet this is not minimum government maximum governance this is maximum government that is back in under the narendra modi's 3.0 avatar so this is what is unfolding at this moment in the rashtrapati bhavan it is a ceremony that of course continues where 72 council of ministers will have, of course have to take oath